you watched my last video uh, from Hatton's, the Hatton's Hall, um, you'll see I picked up a roll of the track bed as an alternative to the fixed strips that Woodland Scenics do. This is 24 feet, 7.3 metres. Um, I got this for about £13, which is a little bit cheaper than uh, what you can find it for. And I wanted to buy it, primarily just to see what the foam was like and how dense it was. It's quite a sort of spongy, forgiving foam. It's my first sort of actual experience of getting my hands on a piece of it. I had even considered just buying like one individual strip from one of the shops that sells them as singles. Um, it's not the cheapest. Um, I think cork would probably work out cheaper, but obviously you've got to get the shoulder cut if you go that route. This obviously has the advantage of that, and it's got the slit in the middle so that when you're doing sharper curves you can part them and then do them individually. But they also do large, largest mats, as you can see, they're not cheap. In fact, they're quite expensive. Uh, depending on where you shop around, there's six to eight, ten pounds for an individual mat. Eight pounds eighty there if it's focusing, I can't tell. Or a full pack of six. Fifty-seven pounds. Uh, I've seen them for forty. There's even one there, sixty-nine. Probably got the postage. So, if I want to do a large storage yard um, that's going to be expensive now I know Charlie Bishop over at Chadwick Model Railway uses some laminate flooring underlay from B&Q um, I went in there today I've been searching around I can get trade discount in Wix's but the one I was going to buy they've discontinued and they do a flooring mat which is subdivided into tiny little squares to make it easier to cut. Now, during my search, I came across this brand. Vitrex. Now this is in B&Q, £28 a pack. Which is considerably cheaper than six of those two foot by twelve inches or two two by ones two by one mats I think you can see that this is safely much larger yeah so this is 19 boards not 12 and it's 9.76 meters squared which is about what triple it up is 32 square feet and what are these in old money? It's like swearing interlude with the pain in the arse, don't want to work tape measure. So it's just under 600mm, which is 23 and a half inches. So we're not quite two foot wide, but basically you're getting uh, double the sheet. 33, two foot, yeah, well, half one way, double the other. Yeah, so £28 in B&Q. And if you go to Tool Station, which is where I went because Screwfix didn't have them. Tool Station, about £25 a bag, uh, a pack. And uh, Screwfix currently got them for £23 something. So if you're thinking about doing your boards quickly and cheaply, uh get on the screw fix or if they haven't got them and you're in a hurry till station so this stuff is expanded polystyrene or extruded polystyrene it will mark um, it will compress and bounce back but if you do small impacts that will leave marks obviously if you're just doing a basic yard it wouldn't really matter because you're probably just going to paint it put some scatter on it or something and jobs are good 
but it's certainly considerably cheaper than buying Woodland Scenics products. Um, I'm looking at, I think it's LD45 foam to cut into strips to, for the actual sort of mainstay track. Um, or possibly using this, I don't know. I have tried other ones and they've been rarely brittle, so this is why we're sort of hunting around to actually physically try one and give it a poke and a prod. But um, yeah, this one's coming up trumps at the minute for the money.